Welcome to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast, hosted by Craig Phillips and Jeff Torrey. Visit us at FantasyFootballProfit.com. And now your hosts, Craig and Jeff. Welcome everyone to the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast. I'm Craig Phillips, joined as always by Jeff Torrey. And today, as we're moving on to the offseason, we're going to do a little mock draft. I know way, it's probably way too early for this kind of thing, but... Yeah, it's going to be fun. Let's kind of give us an idea of how things are looking. Obviously, oh, there's going to be some changes as we get going. Obviously, like Saquon Barkley, depends on where he goes, different rookie running backs. But with the players, there's not going to be that much difference other than some running backs. Maybe a wide receiver or two will sneak in. No quarterbacks really will for us, but it's going to all depend on free agency, how things going. As we're getting to the offseason, Doug Martin was released today. Travis Landry's going back to Miami. I mean, not the most exciting of news, but starting to pick up. So we'll get right into this, Jeff. We're going to pick our spots here quick before we get going. We're going to do a little random number generator. It's going to be 10-team league, standard scoring. I'm going to randomly generate my pick first. I get pick number six. All right, I'm going to pick number six here, Jeff. All right, now let me know. Where am I picking Jeff's today? Pick. Let's get going here so we don't lose the draft, huh? I'm six. Jeff, you get pick number 10. Woo. So we're way down there. This will be interesting. So I'm in the draft. It starts in a minute and 45 seconds. I get the six pick. We're probably going to be going against computers here this early. Not as many people are doing mock drafts. So you ready for this thing? First mock draft of the year? The far too early mock draft. Why way not? Way too early. Yes, we know. We're not really taking this terribly seriously. There's been no research done. Nothing yet. They're just going to see what comes. I don't even know what players are going to show up which round right now. But hey. We got a, like another week here before. Like next week, I think we're gonna get really into the off season, into free agency. Yeah. But it's always a good taster, though, because you know seeing all these players and where they finished compared yep. to where they were drafted. Um, you know, it's kind of a, a palate cleanser for this early in the year before we get all the rookies in this. Yeah, it's. I'm kind of curious at six. Like this is a good test to see how these spots do. Like last year, you would six would have been terrible. I would have hated six. Maybe it's not as bad this year. Maybe ten. You get the ten eleven. In a 10-team, you can get two running backs or a good running back and top receiver, maybe. 100%. I think in the middle round, I, I think that is the biggest difference because I don't feel bad taking a, a high-end wide receiver at six, where last year I hated it. Oh, yeah, it was terrible. Um, but this year, I think you can get away with doing that and then getting running back, running back. And we talked about how deep it looks right now. So, yep. um, yeah, this will be interesting to see how it kind of turns out. Yeah, and obviously there's going to be some, I think – once we get to a certain spot with running backs, we're really going to not know what to do because there's so much to happen in free agency yet with some of these kind of running backs. Like, yeah, maybe Doug Martin does get a starting job somewhere. Who knows? He could. He very well could. Um, yeah, the Jarvis Landry thing, though, I'm kind of – he's not going to – the value, I could he could have jumped his value big time going to a new team next year. He could I was actually he wondering – shot. It's not his No, job yeah, I was wondering, uh, what do you think he – like, do you think he's happy about getting franchise yeah, tagged? Because you get a money. buttload of money. <laughs> But you're also stuck in and Miami. You might not like that offense. Oh, here we go. Draft's going. Yeah, right. And then you have Tannehill. Yep. So, yeah, I don't know. It, that is a very in, intriguing it's, spot. It's interesting. I don't know. It's not going to help his value, though. So, Oh, yeah. there's another person in the draft with us. And we're, we're going. So the draft has started off kind of how you would expect. Almost Todd Gurley. Exactly. Le'Veon Bell, Zeke Elliott. And then DeAndre Hopkins, Antonio Brown. Sometimes I can see that, but you know what? It helps me because I'm I don't know going who to you're go, getting. I'm going to go with um, David Johnson here. I'm not. Oh, I'm well. not scared off by him. I think he's going to be fine. Not who I thought, but I, I still like that pick. I'm, I thought maybe he would wait around until me at ten. No, I'm going to pick David Johnson here. I like. I like David Johnson at six, especially. And then Kareem Hunt went next. Alvin Kamara went yeah. eight. Melvin Gordon went nine. Now Jeff gets back to back picks. And there's some running backs you could get two. You could really load your running backs up like a oh, Fournette man. Cook. Or this you could is... go like a Fournette Beckham. Yeah, this <laughs> is... <sighs> There's talent there. Man, this is rough. I think right now for this one, I'm going to go one wide receiver see what that... and one yeah. running back. The question is, who do I want to go for? Higher ceiling? The o- Odell Beckham is the one that I'm struggling with. Do I go Beckham or do I go Thomas? Mm-hmm. Thomas Beckham feels more of a sure thing. Right, and and Beckham feels seconds. like he's had more of issues. So I'm going to go running back first because I know I'm going to oh she almost run out of time like a if it goes or not whatever. <laughs> it got you Odell. 
Yep, so I got Odell. <laughs> now you got to go with the running back. So you're getting so, forced into it. Yeah, but that's not that's, bad that's because probably, I was going to I was going to take an extra 30 seconds to decide between Beckham and Thomas. I think I still would have went Beckham just for the fun of it, but now I'm picking between Cook and Fournette really and I'm going to go put my money where my mouth is. I'm going Cook. So I have Odell Beckham and Delvin Cook. A little risky, but both of those yeah, guys I feel like huge Ooh, upside. Fournette almost made it back to me. Michael no, Thomas went next, Devontae Freeman, then Leonard Fournette. So I'm sitting here at an interesting spot. Very interesting. Where I got to... <laughs> this is going to be great. Just last week, I, we had players to avoid, and I said avoid Julio. But, but, middle of the second. Middle of the second. Dude, this is, it would be so bad if you picked him here. Now, I feel like that second. is not late enough to put middle him on your second. avoid. Are but, you kidding but me? But there's McCoy and Jordan Howard. I don't like any of those guys. Dude, I feel uh, like if you have an avoid list, you can't pick uh, him in the first two rounds. Can you not? No. Not? Are you kidding me? You, you sure you can? I'm going to pick AJ Green. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go AJ because I think my, my avoid list forced me into it. And then Jordan Howard. See, I didn't want the Jordan Howard McCoy thing there. I just didn't for some reason. That might haunt me later. But after I picked AJ Green, which just might be early for AJ Green, but it was AJ. It's either AJ Green, it's Julio Jones, or maybe like Mike Evans. There, it's one of those kind of guys. Mm-hmm. So Howard went, McCoy went, Julio went. Finally, then Christian McCaffrey, end of the second. So well, then Mike Evans, ooh. then T. Y. Hilton. Ah, dang it! I thought I thought maybe T. Y. would hang around, and I I was gonna grab him as my big bounce back player. Who are you hoping? Falls I was hoping to Ingram right came back, but he just got picked. It was Ingram, then Gronk, then Devonte Adams, then Aaron Rodgers. All right, all right, first quarterback, third round. That's always see. Last year, I was okay with Rodgers going third round. I don't think I'm okay. I don't want that pick this year. I mean, there was enough late-round quarterbacks that were great that I think I'm really sticking to a later-round quarterback type thing yeah. these days. Yeah, so I mean, me too, here. but I don't mind that. Aaron Rodgers is so dominant when he's in there. Oh, I'm sitting here at third round. I want a second running back, maybe. This is an interesting spot. But you know what? I like Joe Mixon, but I don't know if I like Joe Mixon enough for the third round. But <laughs> when there's one more sure thing, I think. And it's going to be another wide receiver, Keenan Allen. He's more of a sure thing, I think. So I'm going to go stock up with the wide receivers. Got Keenan Allen. Then Travis Kelsey went. Adam Thielen went. Joe Mixon did go. Now you're up, Jeff. And this is, I think, the part of the draft always where it gets a little dicey, where we don't know exactly. Yeah, You're not sure on players and what they're going to do. I have yeah. a player in mind. I hope he gets back to me. I have a couple. I have two players in yeah, mind. This so I'm is... Gonna, the, yeah, Lamar this is Miller's a brutal sitting one. right there for you. Right, yeah, that's you, want, you, want. you know I'm not taking him, but... You got 19 seconds. Oh, man, I'm going to go... wish you knew what Carlos Hyde was, was going to be. He could be a pick here if you knew if he was in San Francisco for sure. I'm going to go with the upside guy again. Why not? Yeah, uh, Tyreek Hill? And Tyreek Hill. Is there more... Okay, we, we like the running backs, at least the, the running back depth. But I like the wide receiver depth, too, for the first three rounds. Not too bad. Yeah, you got Beckham and Hill, and I got Green and Allen. And, I like that. And now I'm going to go again. So that is lovely. But the question is, who do I take? Derrick and Henry sitting there. I know. Derrick Henry and I have Carlos Hyde, which... Carlos Hyde is more... It's just an interesting one. We don't know where he's going to be. He could be a great pick, depending on his situation. You know what? I'm... Because I'm going to go with the interesting player. I'm going to go Carlos Hyde. I think if he stays in San Fran, that offense is much improved. I think if he goes somewhere, he's going to be used. Yeah, I'm going to do that one up. And After then you our, pick Jordy Nelson went in the fourth. No, 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 I was no, no, say, no. Our, our big stay no, away Jordy Nelson no. guy. Amari Cooper, Brandon Cooks. Fine with those two. I don't want Jordy in the fourth. So I'm sitting here now up to pick. No, let me guess who you're going to who you're waiting for, Ajay. And I'm going to pick Jay Ajay. <laughs> And he's my pick. So I get David Johnson, J.J., which it looks like LeGarrette Blunt's going to probably be leaving Philadelphia, most likely. It's going to be J.J.'s backfield. So I think it's going to be great. Doug Baldwin went after. Lamar Miller, just not excited about that whatsoever. Alshon Jeffrey, who, I mean, you see, some, you see a lot of flashes from him that he could be even better. He's going to be a good offense. You think he's just a good pick, a I, solid pick. Yeah, he's a solid not, pick. Not a wide receiver one, obviously, but a good two. Yeah. Well, Jarvis where's... Landry went. What worries me about him, too, as well as he did in the Super Bowl, you're going to have yeah. full throwing to him for the first, catches on the Super Bowl. Yeah, first half of the season. They they have a target on their back. 
Very good player. I'd love to have him, but he, you know, kind of scares me to take him super high. I'm back up again after Derrick Henry went, Russell Wilson, Zach Ertz, Josh Gordon, Larry Fitzgerald, DeMarco Murray. That it's is, early. It's early. I was going to say, that is a run of... So, I don't even remember what this league is. Probably It's probably two running backs, two receivers, a flex, I'm guessing. I believe that's typically what these are. So, I'm going to go with an interesting one. <laughs> Dude. I don't know All what right. to do. I, I just want to say this. Uh, you know what? I'm taking a chance here. I'm going to go Dez. My third wide receiver, Dez Bryant. I'm okay with Dez Bryant as my third wide receiver. I think that's a... I don't think you can go wrong with Dez as a third. No, not at all. And I mean, People might not like it, but... <laughs> just because they actually gave me the ability to do this, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to do it. And so Saquon Barkley oh, is actually He's here. He's my next pick. He's in my queue. <laughs> I was laughing. I was like, why is he even on here? We don't know what team uh, it is. So I'm taking Saquon Barkley. No, I'm pissed. Because <laughs> he's, he's going to be up there. He's going to go before <laughs> this. But I, I He's laugh. in my queue. Literally sitting my next pick. I'm like, I can wait one that more round. That is hilarious. Why so, not, right? That's a good no, one. I like yeah, it. 100%. Why not? Fifth round. I think he, I mean, if he, he's, I don't think he's going to last till a fifth round in a regular draft. No, he definitely will not. And, um, okay, I, oh, I'm... Ah. There is a ton of talent. You know what? I'm I'm just I'm blowing it out in this one. I'm gonna go Deshaun Watson. So <laughs> I'm gonna Why go not? with upside on every position. This is gonna be the draft gets fun to interesting, look at. doesn't it? Again, is, and look at this too. I, you go ahead and and so Craig is up to pick. Deshaun, oh, before after I pick first, Diggs went Brady, Golden Tate. Then you pick Saquon Barkley and Deshaun Watson. Then Evan Ingram, Greg Olson, Alex Collins went. Now I'm up and I can just pick whatever. Yeah. And there's and... a and this is what I love too. There is a lot of talent at running back right now. I just yep. want to run down some of them. So you have Tevin well, Coleman. And I Mike, just made my pick here quick. Kenyon Drake. And you know, he yep. was one. And Tevin Coleman yep. is the next guy to go. Um you still have Then Drew Brees just went Marshawn Lynch just tra- was drafted, which no one knows what or you're gonna know what to think about Marshawn Lynch next year or what to do with him. But it sounds like he's going to be back again in another year. After One Marshawn more. Lynch went with Michael Crabtree, which we don't know if he's going to be around yet oh, or not. Bummer. Allen Robinson. He'll be, he will he could go higher if his situation, once his situation is set. Once you actually see him play. Hunter Henry, beginning of the seventh. Whoa. I know. But I that's actually, also the, it's the six wide, or six tight end, so I get it. Yeah. And I was going to say, I was actually, there would have been an interesting place for me coming back because yep. I get two in a row. I could have taken a chance on the tight end. Let's see here. This is this is a very interesting spot because there's going to be our our opinions are going to definitely solidify as the season goes on. Off season goes on, we'll know what to do with these spots and who we like. Because right now it almost feels early to get some players. So after Hunter Henry went, when Cam Newton, Jimmy Garoppolo went, Ty Montgomery. I, I don't know if he's going to be a thing next year or not. I really don't. Demarius Thomas. So I'm sitting here in the seventh. I have three receivers. I have three running backs. I'm going to keep waiting and waiting and waiting on quarterback so i'm going to pick a wide receiver i'm gonna get a fourth wide receiver and let me guess who you're getting sammy sammy watkins <laughs> it is like <laughs> and then kirk cousins went next emmanuel sanders went jared goff went jeff is up already I'm has up. his quarterback he has three running backs he has two wide receivers you might need to get a wide receiver here maybe i see one i see one Ooh. wide receiver i would pick right here yeah i well I, one i only got i got one well, I see two, and I know which one you're looking. I pretty much can just read your mind. And ready, it's only February. I know which one am I going to go with? I'm guessing you're looking at Corey Davis, but I'm actually looking at uh, Chris Hogan. And you have Brady again. Hopefully, he's healthy. Chris Hogan, you're my pick in the seventh. And now I got to pick again. And let me look a little bit what's going on here at tight end. Oh, woof. <laughs> <laughs> right ouch oh my gosh it doesn't get any better i'm actually terrified not to take one now but i don't know where it's ugly it's an ugly position if you wait it's so bad um that's gonna be an interesting thing we got to think about is our tight end strategy for next I, the year. truth is i don't i already don't like any of these guys you know what uh i'm running out of time though so i'm gonna go and take jimmy graham we'll see where he, where he ends up yeah. yeah where he ends up i i love his talent compared to what Delaney Walker, Jordan Reed, who I will never pick because I can't trust him, and then Rudolph, which is fine, but he's just middle of the road to me. So you pick Graham. Oh, I'm, I'm back up already. 
Yep. Let's and then see. Bilal Powell went after me. Jamal Williams, which mm-hmm. is a it, we, kinda, don't know, we don't know what that situation yeah, is. Yeah, interesting pick. And then Kelvin Benjamin, so who is I'm obviously up. the number one wide receiver in Buffalo now. I'm up, but I could do a million things. And you know what? I'm going to go and pick another wide receiver, Corey Davis. I'm going to load up on talent. <laughs> Dude, I've literally called everything. Yeah, so I got five wide receivers now. I think I'm good. AJ, but, but, what about my group of wide receivers? Though? AJ Green, Keenan Allen, Des Bryant, Sammy Watkins, Corey Davis. I think there's some potential there. Oh, they're amazing. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to play all of them. No. That's not like a bad it. thing either. So after Corey I, mean, Davis, I, like, I like your running backs too. Uh, let's see. Delaney Walker went, Jordan Reed, Frank Gore, who knows where he'll be. Cooper Cup. I'm not. I'm just not picking Cooper Cup next year. C.J. Anderson, Pierre Garcon, Jack Doyle, Doug Martin, who just got released, but he could. He'll find himself to a team most likely. Martavis Bryant, Devonte Parker. I am back up on the clock. I could do a million things. I could get a million players. I think I'm just gonna keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Oh man, I don't know what to do. This is where it gets interesting at running back. I love Deion Lewis, but I don't think he's gonna be back in New England, so I'm gonna stay away from him probably. That's my worry with him. So, I'm going to run out of time, <laughs> and I'm going to pick quarterback. I'll pick Carson Wentz. I actually threw him on here. I, didn't, I thought <laughs> you were going to wait one more because he's going to be injured half the year. That's my. That's my. That's where I'm worried about him. So I'm gonna I was going gra- to grab him in the tenth just so you couldn't grab him. But and Sterling right. Shepard went. Rob Kelly went. Amir Abdullah went. But that's why I didn't. I picked him there because it's just. The other thing is, there's still good quarterback. There's still a ton of talent. I, I kind of ran out of crazy. time there. The quarterback, this is why you could wait on quarterback. But if I could truly get a Carson Wentz and he's starting in, in round nine, I mean, I'm just going to love life. But if he's going to be healthy, he'll probably go earlier. But then you got Andrew Luck sitting there. Yeah. Ben Roethlisberger sitting there. You got Juju Smith Schuster. Nice pick. Yeah. So I, like I, that one. I took Juju. And, and honestly, here, I don't have to do this, but I just, because my whole team is so fun, I'm actually going to go Andrew Luck. Why and yeah. and then I have Deshaun Watson and Andrew Luck. Whichever one hits, I'm golden. I have so much youth. Well, then Marvin Jones went. That's still Marvin Jones. That's good value. Yeah, he was the other one on my yeah, on my Woods, list down good there. Good value. Tariq Marvin Cohen. Jones could have easily gone uh, a round or two above that too. Tariq Cohen's an interesting pick. That that's a, I don't get that one. I'm going to pick Tyler Eifert. Get myself a tight end. I don't know if he's going to be back in Cincinnati. I don't know where he's going to be. I don't if like. He could ever stay healthy. He's great, but I don't feel like I'm. Risking too much when I get a late tight end, so I'm, no, I'm, I think that's okay. fine. Isaiah Crowell went next. Don't know if he'll be back in Cleveland. Don't know if he'll be a starter, but we'll see. Garrett Blount again. Don't know his situation. Derek Carr went. I like that. Derek Carr in the tenth is really nice. Devin Funchess, Danny Woodhead, Jamison Crowder. I Crowder. Don't know what to expect. Chris Carson. He, we'll be interested to see if he's actually the starter. Deshaun Jackson, just going to avoid Deshaun Jackson. I should have put him on my void list, but that's too boring. <laughs> then Ben Roethlisberger, Phillip Rivers. Again, 11th round for just two solid quarterbacks. That's great, I think. They always just get overlooked too much. So I'm sitting here. And I, I bet I know who you're going to put I don't, in. Oh, I know, because I don't know who I'm going to pick. All right, I'm, I'm going to put it in my bank, I'll be honest, if I call it or not. Because I don't want to sway you either. No, I really don't know who I want here. I bet I, I, bet I pick correctly. I don't know. I'm just gonna. No, I'm gonna get another running back. I'm gonna pick Marlon Mack. Oh dang! I'm going a little early. I just like him. If he's if I, he's a starter, I honestly thought you were gonna go Deion Lewis. I want. I thought about it too, but that's another one. Where I just. I I don't know if he's gonna be back in New England for sure. Yeah, that's there's no true. guarantee. That's the only. I, otherwise, yes, he would be the pick. But I'm gonna go Marlon Mack and just kind of throw one out there because if Frank Gore leaves and they give the job to Marlon Mack, I I love his potential. But they could easily sign. Carlos Hyde or Doug Martin or something or draft somebody and maybe they don't believe in Marlon Mack. So right. it's we we really don't know. So I can go in any direction really, so I'm just gonna go with people that could break out. So I'm gonna go with uh Corey Coleman here. In the uh at the very end of the eleventh, so which I think is very good. So four value. more rounds. So we got basically two more position players, twelve and thirteen, then then you get kicker in defense yet. Yeah. So after I picked, though, Denver defense went, then Stafford, then Prescott, then you got Corey Coleman, then you're back up. And I'm, and, I'm, I'm could get another up. running back. You only know, got three of them. Yeah. I, Rex Burkhead, if. I know, I, I do like him. Especially if, um, what's his name? <laughs> if Deion Lewis does leave. Yeah. 
I'm running out of time, so I'm going to take Burkhead. I was looking at a couple wide receivers, but let's be honest, Burkhead is probably going to pay more more dividends. If I, if I actually had this team, I have to pick it like it's somewhat realistic. So after Burkhead, it went Kyle Rudolph, Will Fuller. So yeah, um, Will Fuller was the one so I was looking at. P. Ryan, which he could be the starter. We don't really know. There actually is some good receivers down here that I could be interested in. There really is. I'm going to go Marquise Goodwin just because of how good he looked with Garoppolo. So I got six wide receivers to go along with my four running backs. I'm just loading up a position players because I'm just not going to probably draft a backup quarterback even though I have Carson Wentz, so I should. But if that's the case, if if you're in a situation where you get Carson Wentz, I think you can probably get Nick Foles as your backup if he sticks around with the team, which I think he will. So after Goodwin, Randall Cobb went, Minnesota D, Terrell Pryor, who could be back in Cleveland next year. Marcus Mariota, Matt Ryan, Deion Lewis, Duke Johnson, Kansas City D, Ted Ginn, Cameron Meredith, who's a nice, interesting player for next year. Then I'm back up. Oh, yeah, Cam Meredith. He's um he's was on my love list. Got hurt unfortunately, but I love him in the thirteenth. So I always say don't draft two quarterbacks, but I'm in an interesting spot with Carson Wentz. So I kind of have to. So I'm oh, gonna pick Jameis. I was gonna say you absolutely have to. So I'm in a different spot where I have to if you go with Carson Wentz. So I'm gonna pick Jameis there. I could have gone Nick Foles, probably. I think he'll still be there, but no need. Dante Moncrief went. Man, the fall of Dante Moncrief. Just not even interested in him anymore. Right. How many rounds do we have left? We there? have uh, three more, so you get one more position player here, and then you go kick your defense. So Moncrief went Jacksonville D, Baltimore D. And I don't really need. God, I don't need anyone. You got two quarterbacks. I mean, you can go basically any yeah. basically the best of wide receiver, running back, whatever you whatever. No, your I'm, I'm going to pick someone late. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Seattle D just so I have someone that I like for the first yeah. couple of weeks. So I got to pick defense and kicker. Yeah, basically, I don't mind. I don't mind going one round early on defense and kicker, just and then one round, and then yeah. because more than likely, and this is just my personal opinion, but I will be doing waivers, so I have to have someone I like less. So I don't mind. Um, picking someone and, and taking a little more of a chance on that last that last spot yeah. because more than likely they're not going to make it past your last spot right now. Not your last spot. But yeah, your not second my last. To last spot. You just go um, get a kicker. And yeah, so I'm going to on that player later. Let's go ahead and uh, get Kaskowski. Which whatever is a good kicker. Yeah, solid. Yeah, Justin Tucker went next. Greg Zerline went solid. Matt Prater went next. I was hoping to get like one of those guys, but oh well, not the end of the world. So. I will go and pick. Uh, I'll get Jake Elliott from Philly. I'll go get Jake Elliott. It's not. You're kind of just. They're all pretty solid. Matt Bryan with Dan Bailey, Will Lutz. Those are all other options you could have gone with. Matt Bryan, I think, is actually getting a little too old for my taste. <laughs> He's up there in age a little bit. He is pretty up there. Not as old as um, Pinatieri was coming back, probably for. Uh, he's like 45 now. It's ridiculous. Robbie Gold, Philly D, Chris Boswell, all interesting, fun players now at this point, right? Waiting around. Houston D, Mike Gillisley, who I don't think is going to be a draft pick. Julian Edelman, that's one we got to remember next year. Got to get that back into our mind. Julian Edelman could be good. Yeah, Pittsburgh the, D. Really the last round? I'm up with my defense. I'll go with, I don't know, I'll pick the Rams. Rams no, work. I, I don't I'm want to. streaming. So. And also, I know that we're probably not the only ones. Oh, there he is. Finally, I was going to say. Robbie. Anderson. I thought Rabbi Anderson wasn't even going to be drafted. Well, yeah, with this, I bet I don't know if his legal thing will do anything or matter, but we'll see. Aaron Jones. So all three Green Bay running backs went because no one knows right now. Mm-hmm. Tyrell Williams and Jeff gets the last pick of the draft. Whoever he feels like is the best player out there. Let's see if there's anybody I even think that Deontay Foreman, maybe. Yeah, he was on my short list. Um, I thought maybe it'd be interesting to grab O.J. Howard and just see how he does. Or you go with the rookie. Get Darius Grice, the rookie. Darius Geis. How oh, I say Grice? Darius Geis, rookie running back. Could be the second running back on the board. There's him. There's Sony Michelle. There's those kind of guys. And one of those rookie running backs could be a good pick. Ooh, it ran out of me and I got Paul, oh, Paul Burton. <laughs> oh. I would have never <laughs> picked him. But... Get that. but he might get like a rookie. Who knows? Yeah. Those rookies are going to go obviously much, much higher. Once we know the situation, that completely ran on me, but that's all right. It's the last pick. But we we 100 know rookies are going to go so much higher once you know everything's going on. So hey, there we go. Drafting the books. Let's Ooh, see. I'll run down my love team my here. team. So I got Carson Wentz at quarterback. So I had to pick up a backup just because we don't know Carson Wentz situation. You got Jameis Winston as my backup. Solid, I think. Running back situation with David Johnson, J.J., Kenyon Drake. And then I took a flyer on Marlon Mack. Maybe he'll be a starter. 
it's either I could go him, I go one of the rookies. That's just kind of what that spot's going to be. Probably at running back. Going to take a chance on somebody. I loaded up at wide receiver because I like the talent. A.J. Green, Keenan Allen, Des Bryant, Sammy Watkins, Corey Davis. Then I threw Marquise Goodwin on the bench as well. And then tight end, Tyler Eifert. I love the talent yet. It's just, can he stay healthy? If he doesn't, what, Ebron's probably out there. O.J. Howard might break out. Najoku might break out. There's all kinds of guys. And then Jake Elliott, Rams defense. So what you get, Jeff? Oh, started off with the big wide receiver, went Odell Beckham. Let's hope that he returns to his healthy former self and scores me a buttload of touchdowns. Then I followed that up with Delvin Cook, which I, as long as he stays healthy as well, looked unbelievable last year. Then I traveled back to the wide receiver country and grabbed Tyreek Hill, who is going to have the very athletic Mahomes thrown to him, which will be a very interesting to see them play in the uh, preseason just to see what kind of chemistry they have. Then I went Carlos Hyde, which I'm kind of just iffy on. It was just kind of a weird spot to pick. Um, he, he's kind of in no man's land at the moment, but I, I like the talent still. Then Saquon Barkley, which I will never be able to get this low. So I love where I'm at at that point. Then I went Deshaun Watson, um, the guy that is just a point producer. Chris Hogan, very uh, safe guy as long as he stays healthy. Jimmy Graham, which is a... A pretty good tight end. Hopefully he leaves to somewhere that loves to throw to him, perhaps back to New Orleans. And then I got Juju Smith-Schuster. Got to love him. Andrew Luck to back up Watson because I don't know what Luck actually looks like. But if it's anything like his former self, that will be a great trading chip. Then Corey Coleman, where I like the upside. Rex Burkhead, I need another running back. Seattle defense, Gaskowski, and then uh, the no man land pick that ran out on me, Paul Perkins. <laughs> Which is automatically released. Yeah, he, he's never going to be on my team. It's And then you pick up one of the rookies. So yeah. that's probably how it's going to go. That's an interesting little thing to see how that's going to go. It's I feel like in the first probably two rounds or so, there's a lot of talent. And the third, there's still talent, but I think it kind of the fourth, fifth, sixth round is like an interesting spot where we just, I think it's every draft. But. We just need to know more free agents, rookies. Some of those rookies will jump in there. It'll be good. But it's interesting. I don't know. I don't usually go so wide receiver heavy, but it just fell that way. Because I think I'll go more rookie running backs later on in the actual draft. So, oh, interesting. We'll do a couple more of those. Next one will probably be after the free agent, that whole free agent period. Okay, before After free agents, before draft. And then we'll do a bunch after that when it actually you know what's going on. And- and, and I hate to say it, but after you look at these, if you go running back early, say in the first round, I, I like the majority of those teams, how they turned out better than and going wide receiver. Well, when I think about it, I was able to get six quality wide receivers. I feel like, why not wait? Then again, I think our whole yeah. running back wait, wait on wide receiver strategy is probably still the way to go. And I think you can go two running backs. And I think you can get two really good running backs. Yeah, and, and that's the big one. So... Okay, even like the number one, they got Todd Gurley, right? And the number one overall pick. Then they went two wide receivers, which I like both of them, Mike Evans, T.Y. Hill. But then already at your number two running back, he was looking at Derrick Henry. So not that it's bad, but then he you waited around even longer. So I, I think you put yourself um, just as – you're just shallow in, yep. in, as far as your roster goes. Even though I like a lot of the players on his team, his running back situation looks a little weak – even though he has Todd Gurley, which is amazing. Yep. Compared to, say, at the eighth spot, um, he went. you got Elvin Kamara and Devontae Freeman right away, and you still were able to follow that up with Thalen and Cooper, and then Emmanuel Sanders later on, Will Fuller, Robert Woods. So even though if you're like, eh, I don't know if Amari Cooper's still going to do it, you can fill in, really. Yep. And he's still got Tom Brady and, and, and all that good stuff. So I don't know. I going wide receiver first is still a little bit risky to me, but it works out way better than it did last year. It does. I still don't. Yeah. I'm going to go running back heavy the way this is shaping up already, but obviously this is snake draft. I'm still telling you go auction. Yeah. hundred <laughs> percent. Go auction draft. We'll have some talk about that as the season goes on. The off season goes on too. We'll be able to try to convert you over to auctions because we wouldn't have had these spots where, like, oh, I don't know who to get here. You could get anybody you wanted if you put the money down. So that's the way to go. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it. That is the end of episode 195 oh my God. of the Fantasy Football Profit Podcast. Only five more. And we hit episode 200. So we're going to be coming up here in a couple weeks. Yeah. Episode 200. And we're really only uh, a few weeks away from starting what 
I feel like we're just going to call season three here. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. This is really free agents going to kick off, and man, it's going to be interesting. You're going to be able to get all kinds of stuff going on. There's going to be so much to talk about actually here. Yeah, and we'll be releasing a lot more. I don't want to say content, but a lot more stuff coming coming your way. So we will start uh, kind of talking about that and getting everyone primed. As yep. I think this year is going to be a whole lot of fun. It's shaping up to be pretty wild. I'm very, very interested to see where all these rookies go and how the free yep. agents shake out. It is, I think, yeah. way different than last year. Really is. There's so like there's a lot of teams that need running backs. There's actually running backs out there. Carlos Hyde, now Doug Martin. Dude, I'm, I mean, I'm still waiting for Kirk Cousins to go like to Denver. Yeah, Kirk Cousins, you don't have like a top quarterback like that out there. Well, now the, the Jets are offering him just ridiculous. Might offer him yeah, ridiculous, ridiculous money. Ridiculous money. Oh man, who knows? This well, is, if that happens, does Robbie Anderson all of a sudden become relevant a little bit again? He could stay out of jail or something. <laughs> Maybe a little close. I think. Let's see here. I'm pulling this up. So we'll have next week. I don't know exactly. We're gonna have to maybe start talking about free agents stuff like that. The week after we have, so we basically have, we only have two more weeks before free agency kicks off. That's it, two more weeks. So one of those two weeks, we're gonna do some free agent previews. Probably two weeks, and it's close. I mean, two, yeah, and two more weeks of just kind of nothing going on. And then it's, maybe maybe season three will officially kick off with our two hundred and first episode. It'll be coming up soon. That's crazy. There's a lot of episodes. All right. We'll talk to you guys next week.